What's up all you robotic loving dudes and your dads? Toy Shiz here and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look and today we are totally checking out the brand new, I'm actually kind of excited about this, brand new Transformers Red series robot, ro ro why did I say that weird, robot enhanced design. I don't know why I wanted to say robotic. Anyways, you got Megatron, of course, in Series 1. The boxes are quite elegant, I have to say. Non-converting robot, in case anyone was still wondering. And, of course, you got the good old Optimus Prime. Can't go wrong with him. The artwork, though, is gorgeous. Totally different than a lot of different Transformers, especially now with Siege and Earthrise and everything else. These just have a very... I guess import overseas look to them, which I actually really like as far as the box. As is evident, I think on the back side of the box, you get a really nice photos of the figures themselves, and then you get to see all their moving parts and hand switches and, you know, the little doors open up. You get the Matrix of Leadership. Same thing for Megatron, although we'll say one hand right there holding the cube. It's a little bit better painted than the one that I got. Here's the barcodes if you want to go ahead and grab them. The first one right here is Optimus, and the second one is Megatron. And of course, there is a sound wave as well, but I didn't get him, unfortunately. The sides of the box, although, is where it's at. I love the fact that you can see all the little accessories right there. It's just, it's a cool window just for the accessories. It's something different. If you're wondering about the package size, I was actually surprised. You know when you see them for, for you know, months and months and months, and you finally get them in hand, it's kind of different when you expect... They're smaller. They're smaller than most boxes. Smaller than Marvel Legends, NECA, you know, all that kind of stuff. So I'm excited to check these out. I'm a big Transformers fan, but I've never really had Transformers that don't transform. I know a lot of you are kind of rolling their eyes going, wait a minute, how can they be called Transformers? Don't think about it. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of cybernetic coffee. This is a look at the brand new Transformers Red series, Optimus Prime and Megatron. And because I'm a huge nerd for packaging, just to kind of show this off, because they are different. You get the little pack-ins, you get all the little dishes and trays, and you get these backgrounds that say the Red series. like Kind of like when Unicron like outlined Megatron in the Transformers movie. It's kind of cool. Works with Optimus Prime too. You get the little trays, got all the weapons nestled inside. Okay, enough. Anyways, here they all are out of the packaging. And let's talk about these. <laughs> That's the best thing I think that honestly I can say. Just to, we gotta, we gotta look at this in detail. So with Megatron, you know, you see these are generally for my tastes, and what I would think are based heavily on just G1. That's, you know, you could say comic book, IDW, whatever. These are G1 to me, all out. This cartoon simplistic style. So you see with Megatron, you get the figure, and you get, of course, bunch of different weapons and accessories, hands mostly, and the sculpt is nice, he looks good, he looks like Megatron, you get a cube with a hand holding it, you got multiple hands switch out, and you got his like Energon, energy base sort of deal that was in the cartoon. He looks cool, he stands good, he's painted nicely. I have heard, seen things, little photos here and there, paint hasn't been that great. My Megatron actually came out looking pretty good, you can see him all from all angles, and as far as the articulation goes, let's say this. Think of it this way. You have a blocky robot. He's not going to move like flesh and bone. This is going to be blocks upon blocks. So I think for what they achieved, it's actually not too bad. You get some nice head rotation out of Megatron, right? Left, right. He's got a big disc, like moon head, you know, at the bottom of the base. So it's not going to rotate or it's not going to go back too much. His shoulders go up around that much. They will swivel. They're interesting. It's not like butterfly joints or anything. I'm wondering if butterfly joints would have worked, but at the same time, I'm going to let them be the engineers for these toys. He's got single jointed elbows. The wrists will rock. You know, they'll go down. Just be careful with the joints. Some of them are a little stiff. The gun here, mine doesn't seem like it wants to come off. All right. So I'm not going to force it. No part of it looks like it even pops off. It is very heavy though. I will say this. For his arm, I can see his arm. If you put it up, it's going to weigh it down. He does have an ab crunch. Interesting enough, right? This little thing won't let him go back. So again, cubes hitting cubes. Think about that. It is a little bit loose. It's too loose for my liking. I'm going to be 100% honest. And he does swivel at the waist. These little flaps on the sides, they will work with you if you want to kick his legs out. Got thigh swivel. 
His legs will kick out, kick back, not a whole heck of a lot, but it's a good enough range. He's got double jointed knees, which you can get him work. It actually looks okay. It's not I mean, the most elegant, but he is a robot. See what I mean about him kind of being loose? That's, that's the thing about the up top part of old Megatron. And then his feet, right? Now this is interesting. They'll go down and they'll kind of go up, but you kind of pull down on them and it kind of lowers it below his ankle boot metal piece you know what i mean i'm talking about his armor or whatever you want to call megatron his body and you could kind of just rotate it a little bit easier so that's kind of an interesting design quality to these as far as the weapons go the accessories like i said he's got this energy mace it's made of like a gummy sort of plastic it's stiff enough but unfortunately let's say this you pull his hands out the hands all come out rather easily it fits in, but it's very loose on this side. On this side, however, you just kind of, see, so you just pull the hands out right there. On this side, you push it in and it's tight. So one side fit, and I, I would have thought that it would work on both sides. I think it's meant to work on both sides, it's a bit loose on that. The Energon cube with the hand. It's not, it, it, like, it's a good idea, but it's not my fit. It's not well executed. I would have preferred just to get cubes and it's certainly not painted well at all this is a weird thing like almost you could like crack it open and put a light inside you know what i mean that that's what it really reminds me of it looks cool when he's holding it especially from afar we'll just say that and right then and there yeah it looks good when he's holding an energon cube however i would have preferred the hand to be out and then you just have a bunch of cubes so you get a bunch of cubes and you just collect cubes he's got a finger pointer right that's actually a pretty cool hand i do like that and then he's got a, a weapon holding hand and then a fist Besides the energy mace, I would have loved to have had a beam saber sword, you know what I mean? But all the accessories do work to kind of emphasize and prompt and promote this Megatron. They all work together. It's cohesive. It's not one part where I go, oh, why'd they do that? that? The only thing I think I'll run into a snag, and you'll see with Optimus in just a second, is that you'd wish that the hands, you'd have multiple pairs for each hand, each side, you know, left and right, because maybe you'd don't want the energy maze maybe you want a finger point with one hand so it kind of it becomes complicated when you want to switch the hands if that makes any sense but i think he does scale well with g1 original cartoon optimus prime right so i would say this megatron he's actually a pretty cool figure let's talk about optimus prime now everyone's gonna want to know about optimus classic character i have too many optimus primes to count and now I have a new one that doesn't transform but that doesn't really take away from the fact that I get what Hasbro is trying to do who are these figures for I don't really transform my transformers anymore to be quite honest with you but it's kind of interesting to have these as just posable action figures you know what they turn into he's a truck if you've got a truck like Jada makes yeah looks actually pretty cool comes with a variety of different accessories weapons matrix of leadership gun energy axe things like that the sculpt on him much like megatron works the paint on optimus is a little bit lackluster and then also he's got some warpage from the packaging as is evident right here the smoke stacks on his arm especially on this side now i can heat it up and change it but for the sake of showing these off so you know what you're getting into the head right his little antennae one side see right there it goes straight up i think that's the normal the other side, it's glued in on the sides of his head, so I'm wondering if I pull it off and just kind of switch it, move it back a little bit. You can't move him around. So that's another thing. It's, it's, an, it's a QC issue, we'll just say. But the back looks good. He looks like G1 Optimus Prime, straight from the cartoon, the video game, everything else. You get some really nice head rotation. You put it all the way back, more so than Megatron. He doesn't have that helmet look, you know what I mean? And much like Megatron, think of it, cubes on top of cubes. His arms go out like that. He's got single jointed elbows, his wrists rotate, it'll swivel at the elbow, swivel at the bicep. One thing though right here is that when you do swivel at the bicep, it'll start to hit the smokestack. It's not detrimental, but you'd wish it'd be a little bit more fluid because you kind of have to, you know, kind of work it a little bit. You know what I mean? The details is nice on Prime. I just wish it would go all the way around. He does have a waist swivel. He doesn't have an ab crunch. Unfortunately, he kicks out better than Megatron. He's also got the thigh as well. He's got double jointed knees, which looks cool. I love the blockiness of the G1, old G1 cartoon. He's got that same thing where the feet drop down a little bit more so you can get some 
rock back and forth, right? So that's pretty cool. You still don't clear the little lower part of the boot, unfortunately, but when you pose them, it does look good. The only thing is sometimes with one of these feet, it, it's kind of a pain to kind of push back up inside. So just FYI, you can do the splits to a certain degree. And then of course, you know, you can put the matrix of leadership inside. It took me way too long to figure out how to do this. I didn't want to scratch it. It's simple as this. You just push on the sides of the doors. Yeah, it took me way too long, like I said. But you get to see inside his chest cavity. And then you get the old matrix of leadership right here. Now make sure it's got a little divot at the top. Make sure to put the matrix in the right way. It hooks in and it stays put. And it looks cool. I would say it's not my favorite. You can see the matrix through his chest. We all know that it's a system of devices that opens up. Anyways, the gun is cool. The gun is perfect. It's Optimus's gun. It may not be like a perfect replica kind of thing. All of them are different from time to time. But it looks cool. His hands look good. I thought that... I was like, okay, so Megatron and him are sharing hands. They're actually different hands. They look the same. They're almost molded the same. You know, the, the gestures. But they're two different hands. So I'm glad they're not already reusing parts. I don't have Soundwave, but we don't know. He's got the finger pointing hand, right? So he can scold the Autobots or Decepticons or point at Starscream, what have you. He's got fisted hands. And of course, he's got... The gun holding hand as well with the trigger finger, which just kind of finagle in there. I would just leave this just like this. And then you can make it easy on yourselves and just pop it right in and out when you want to switch out the hands. You don't really have anything else that he can hold at the moment anyways. But it looks good. He looks good holding the gun. It's very natural. It looks great. You can get him in all kinds of good poses. The energy axe, again, much like Megatron's, it's okay. It's not my favorite, but I'm glad that they included it. I'm I'd rather have it. Then not have it. It is part of the old, like, all the way to, like, episode one kind of thing. It looks good. It's transparent. So, I'm really not complaining. I'm just saying, like, it's okay. <laughs> it's not my favorite of Transformer accessories and things like that. But I think that this is an interesting start. I think it's got some QC issues. I think that they are on their way. It's the first wave sort of freshman year, Right. Things I would have seen, you know, maybe uh, an energy effect, a blast effect for Megatron's cannon. Maybe, uh, you know, with Siege and Earthrise, maybe you could hook some of those blast effects to these figures. I think that that would have been cool as well. But if you have, let's say, Marvel Legends stands with the explosions, or, you know, they kind of took it from Star Wars anyways. But, you know, you can hook these in. The lower parts of these figures are very like almost heavier than the top half I will say that they're very much all the weight is in the legs and I think it causes it to be a little rickety sometimes so that's another thing to kind of look out for but now you're probably wondering how do these scale let's say being that they're supposed to be in the six inch sort of degree you got Marvel Legends you got G.I. Joe he's actually shorter than both it's funny to have a Transformer shorter than this I just wouldn't have expected it look at Megatron up against like Apocalypse they're in the same kind of scale as the shorter type 6-inch, like the Ghostbusters. That's really it. They're smaller scale. They're their own thing, to be quite honest with you. Here it is, if you want to see them paired up with Power Rangers, you know, Megazord, Goldar. When you put them up with Siege, or Earthrise, you see that they're a lot less detailed. They're more simplistic, right? The colors... This is the detail. They're not detailed all the way around, let's say, whereas Seizure Earthrise are. And they're too small for the most part to kind of fit in with other Transformers figures that you may have. They're their own scale, their own thing. Some will fit here and there. But I wouldn't say, and especially in the detail, you know, a lot more detailed out, a lot more simplistic. They'll kind of fit. You have them in the back. But... I wouldn't say they fit exactly, just to be honest with you. But my final thoughts on this would be that this is a good first start to what they're going to be doing with these Transformers figures. These are Walmart exclusive. The entire line is Walmart exclusive, at least for now. Perhaps that could change later on. Soundwave is part of this first wave, and I think it's fun. I think that, let's say this, if you've never collected Transformers then these might be for you. If you're a big fan of Marvel Legends and Ghostbusters and things like that that they're doing now, then I think that these would be for you. If like People like me, I don't exactly transform my Transformers anymore. I was very interested to see how these are going to go. 
I like what I see. I'm not fully like in love with them kind of thing, but they're not too shabby. We'll say that. I think they're going to be fun. There's something different. There's something new and exciting on the shelves. I think they need a little bit more oomph to kind of get a little bit better, especially with paint. I'm digging the articulation for what they are, to be quite honest with you. But I am curious to know what you guys think about these. Have you found them in store? Will you be picking them up? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Transformers Red. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, comment below. Can they still be called Transformers even though they don't transform? Yeah, that's going to keep you up at night. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Thank you.